Thank you. Um, um, so infections uh, involving the spine uh, can be a real challenge um, as they can be hard to diagnose, at least uh, initially. Uh, they can result in substantial uh, pain, uh, deformity, paralysis, and death. And according to various reports, uh, the incidence of spine infections may be increasing, but good data uh, is lacking. In addition, various risk factors um, have also been associated with spinal infections uh, with a common denominator of immune deficiency, such as diabetes, um, malignancy, long-term steroid use, and HIV. Uh, but maybe the most prominent risk factor that we are used to look for in, in our patient is IVDA or IV uh, drug abuse. Um, and this is a, a manufacturer rather than uh, uh, an abuser. So uh, the aims, the Albuquerque manufacturer, yeah. So the aims of our study were to look uh, at the incidence of um, spine infections and search for possible trends and associated risk factors uh, with a focus on drug abuse. For that, we used the, the uh, CHARS database uh, that was inspired by, by our uh, CV colleagues and uh, Dr. Bill Wang. Uh, basically, this is a, a, a de-identified Washington State uh, database of all discharged patients that uh, contains up to nine diagnosis codes, so either an ICD-9 or 10 codes. And to look for incidents, we acquired the, char the charge data files from uh, the last 15 years. So that's a $50 per year, and this is what we got. So uh, in the graph, you can see the absolute numbers of patients discharged each year with spine infections. And uh, what's interesting in that is that while numbers were relatively stable from 2003 uh, uh, throughout 2011, we noticed a gradual increase around, of around 60% from that year onwards. Um, Next, we retrieved all known risk factors um, within the group of patients with spine infections to see how this group may have changed throughout the years. And the results show that while the incidence of most of the risk factors remain relatively unchanged, the proportion of drug abuse uh, and dependence, I should say, had increased dramatically uh, during the same time window beginning in 2011. Uh, another risk factor that started going up around that at the same time uh, was malnutrition. Uh, depicted by the green line uh, beneath the blue one. So the term drug abuse is not accurate as we really retrieved um, codes associated with uh, both drug abuse and dependence. I don't know if that matters because they, they obviously overlap. Uh, the reason for that is that we noticed that some IVDAs uh, in our hospitals were uh, coded as being dependent, um, which would have resulted in uh, underreporting. And when we separated the codes, it seemed that drug dependence is, in fact, the dominant code um, that had increased. Next, by performing an analysis uh, in the non-infected patients, we were also able to ask whether drug dependence is a wider problem. And what the uh, orange graph shows is that, um, um, is that there was certainly an increase, but to a lesser extent compared with the increase among infected patients. So that's probably a wider problem of drug dependence throughout throughout Washington State. And finally, by combining data from the infected and non-infected groups, we could determine how did the association between drug abuse and spinal infections had changed throughout the years. And as you can see, starting from 2011, abusing drugs becomes more prone to be associated with spine infections. And in 2017, if you're a drug abuser, you're six times more likely uh, to acquire spine infections. So that's pretty uh, dramatic. So to conclude, we show that the proportion of spine infections among discharged patients uh, had increased by 60% and that both drug abuse and malnutrition are also on the rise. Does this represent the trigger for the rise in spine infections? There's no good answer because it's not a true incidence and prevalence uh, study. It's based on discharged patients, but we definitely uh, show a rise in proportion it's, and it's pretty dramatic. Um, and sh this should uh, obviously encourage a deeper analysis on a broader scale. Thank you.